Hi guys, just want to take you through uh, my fully automated water change system for my aquarium. I've had it running uh, for about two years. In the whole two years, um, I never had to change the water once. Um, I think it's an excellent, excellent system. Um, it's uh, very low intrusion in terms of um, the, the water um, change amount. Um, I'll just take you quickly through how it works. So the whole system is controlled for this unit here and uh, this heart of the unit is the seven day timer which can be fully programmed which I actually have here for different days of the week uh, which is fully programmable and how that works is basically um, it when the timer is on um, this actually turns on this uh, solenoid which is driven by 12 volts, it's all low powered um, and this one as well that's connected to the cold water intake uh, this is just a master shadow valve this is a pressure limiter just to make the pressure less um, so this basically turns on when the timer turns on allowing the water to flow um, then that gets fed through to this filter unit right here uh, this is an activated uh, uh, coconut filter, a carbon filter, and a sediment filter. Um, so the, f the tubing from the filter goes back to the aquarium. I have a pipe and the wiring going around the house, around the wall. Right there you can see a bit of conduit. And uh, the water actually trips through here. This is a, uh, a dripper. I'll turn that on manually. Now actually I can turn that manually, so that's on, now you can hear it in the background. Okay, so the water drips in very very slowly, the flow rate into the aquarium is 8 liters per hour. Now what I found, this is actually really really good, um, because the water is filtered, it's very clean, uh, the chlorine is gone, um, and the pH swing, and the swing for the water in the tank and the fresh water um, is, is, is minimal because of the slow flow rate. So based on the timer and the amount um, of, of time you leave the solenoid on, you can basically control how much water flows into the tank. As an example, um, you know, that's a quick formula, 30% uh, water change is a 4.2 hour cycle, 50% uh, is a 7 hour cycle. But what I do is I split the cycles throughout the day, maybe three times a day, just to account for evaporation from the tank. Okay, so what I'll do, I'll turn that off. Okay, so what, so basically that's the component that takes care of um, the water coming into the tank. Now, um, as you can see here, I have a little bit of water because I'm actually changing the tank. I have a um, overflow box connected in my aquarium here. Uh, there is a pipe, PVC pipe, going down through the back of the aquarium, which comes in right here, into this um, container, into this container right there. Um, as you can see, so, as you can see, um, when the water fills up, and you want to make a change, the water will overflow into the box, the, um, the box will fill up, and there are certain levels here, so um, this is almost full, um, so when the water fills up to this line here, there's a, this unit controls the pump. And the pump, uh, the, water, um, the water levels are uh, controlled by these float switches, okay? So this float switch uh, basically turns the pump on, and when the water drops here, it turns the pump off. So the water never fully drains, uh, and that is just to prevent the pump from sucking out, sucking up air. So it's always a little bit submerged. Um, also avoids, uh, prolongs the life of the pump. Um, these flow switches here, uh, intake off switches, is like a master override. So if the water for some reason, if the pump ever was to fail, and they do have a life span of maybe two or three years, they, so you, the only component you would expect to fail is the pump. They cost about $30 to replace. Um, 
technically the pump fails the water will flow up um, and if it hits this level here that actually disconnects the circuit completely so the water will never leak out um, what I also have is um, in the control unit is a water switch which is a leak detector and um, it just I got some wirings here so if I ever have um, water spillage it will actually turn the um, alarm on and the piezo um, and it has actually gone off a few times where I was changing the filter and uh, it has actually turned on but what I'll show you guys is like I said before the water is almost at the level where the pump will automatically turn on so what I'll do is I'll manually just fill up uh, the water into the overflow box Float switch and the le level of the water turn the pump on. So, the, as you can see, there is that tube coming out of the pump, but also goes through a conduit which has all the other, um, all the other stuff going. And uh, the tube goes into my uh, drain off, and you can see it slowly, slowly uh, draining away. Okay, so back here. It's already dropping as you can see, it was just above the line. Probably take about five minutes for it to actually um, totally drain off. And in a normal water change uh, cycle, this process can happen maybe two or three times. But um, in combination, this system right here, it's all driven by this control unit. Um, and uh, together, they provide you with a fully automated water change. Uh, system and I think it's pretty convenient um, as it allows you to fine-tune the amount of water the frequency um, um, of the water changes in your aquarium okay um, I hope this was helpful to some of you guys um, you know I surely can improve on this in one way or another but for my purposes it served me really well over the last two years uh, and it's one of the reasons why um, I kept my aquarium for such a long time is because I didn't have to fuss about uh, the water changes and so forth. Okay, so back to here, it's already training. So once it hits this level, it will stop. Yeah, so very, um, just to continue, the water hit this level here and the pump stopped. Um, just quickly on parts, um, the water switch um, I got from, it's a German made water switch. I don't remember what I got from, I think I got it from UK through eBay. Um, the timer was from Jaker. The uh, the pump unit, the trigger, and the reset are controlled by the same brand, uh, which is the Camel brand um, um, timer relay circuit. Um, so this float switch turns it on, and this one basically resets it. Um, <clears throat> was a um, 12 volt and a 5 volt 2 amp power supply in the driving the pump. Um, the bilge pump um, you can pick up from a, uh, a boating shop or, or from eBay as well. Uh, the filters from a filter shop, uh, the solenoids, and um, can be picked up from eBay uh, or from plumbing suppliers as well. Um, all up, I think. Um, all the parts, wiring, the here, overflow box. Uh, was from U uh, US uh, all up cost me about $500 to build um, took me about three months to design and put together it was work in progress but uh, all up it worked well okay thanks Bye.